Hey guys, it's your girl Lily and Bruby. I'm back with another reaction video because by the title, I'm reacting to the future, Metro Boomin and Drake Beef Explained because I'm lost. I don't understand how they got beef. They got a bunch of songs together, especially Future, future, future and Drake. Didn't they recently do a song together? So like, I'm very much confused. Do a show, B-E-S-H-O-B-O-A-T, and this new Future and Metro Boomin' album has the internet in I shambles. I it. For one, being the biggest release of 2024 so far, but also because of Kendrick Lamar dissing Drake and J. Cole on Like That, and a previous Wait, secret okay, beef so. between Wait. Future and Drake becoming public oh, so far, but not... also because of Kendrick Lamar Fox ain't this in first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches, motherfuckers. The fuck? The big three? But it's just me. How the hell y'all know that said this? Well, you do say fuck the big three, nigga. Are dissing Drake and J. Cole okay. on Like That and a previous secret beef between Future and Drake becoming public. So I'm gonna break down this everything for most. you guys in this video, going all the way back to the origin of this beef Please. so let's jump into it but first hit the like button on this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video i drop now since the release of this we don't trust you album there's been a lot of theories as to where this future and drake beef came from what started it you feel me it's even got the strippers talking so booby trap is a popular strippers. strip club in miami known for having some of the best of the best work in there if you dig what i mean now when the album dropped Yo. and all of this blew up I remember when people talk about strip clubs, they used to talk like talk about like Black China. Do they have that anymore? Like, who is the person they talk about? Like, they go to their strip club and they talk about. I feel like Black China was like the only person. Like, everybody wanted to see Black China have her in their videos. Now it's like I feel like cause everybody's a stripper now. That's the thing. one of the dancers from the Booby Trap put a tweet up saying Drake and Future are beefing over Amber from Booby Trap. You know how many of us in here eat dick? Be for real. And she has a man as well? Laughing my butt. Dick, many of what? us in here eat dick? Or Amber from Booby Trap. You know how many of us in here eat dick? Be for real. And she has a man as like well? Laughing my butt off. And this is allegedly her IG account of this Amber, right? Now let's keep it real. This Amber from the trap might be messing with Drake and Future both. But this is not what this beef stems from. Bro, you know these rappers all smashing the same chicks. Facts. Now, could I, some pillow talking be involved where this girl or other girls are going back and forth and telling Drake what Future said or telling Future what Drake said? Absolutely. But we need to go further back. Now, we all know Drake and Future came out with a joint album together, What a Time to Be Alive, back in 2015. And they've collaborated on hella songs together exactly. since then. Now, here's where it starts to get sketchy. Because What A Time To Be Alive Part 2 has been teased as completed or coming soon since 2019, then 2020, then 2021. Ooh, and then what happens in 2022? Like in November, too. Drake releases a surprise joint album with 21 Savage, Her Loss. So then me shortly mad. after, Drake announces a lengthy tour starting in 2023 for Her Loss to support the album. Meaning that's that the bad. soonest that What A Time To Be Alive Part 2 could come out would automatically be pushed back until 2024. As you can imagine, Future might feel some kind of way about this. Future is from Atlanta, 21 Savage is from Atlanta. They both have similar demographics and Future has been working on this album with Drake since 2019. The beef between Future and Drake had to have started so, sometime in 2022. Why didn't they just drop it if you, f you feel salty about him working with somebody else? I'm not about to not work with somebody else because this album taking forever. Are you crazy? No. What? Or the Her Lost album was actually released. And I'll tell you why in a second. But first, I wanted to point out that Nori from Drink Champs leaked this information in january of 2023 a few months after her loss was released that future was upset with drake over the release of the album with 21 savage now the reason why i believe the fallout happened before the release of her loss is because now in hindsight drake's lyrics on more m's from her loss seem like they're actually sneak dissing future like when drake says what happened to that boy claiming OVO? We traded him. 
Initially, some yeah, people yeah, thought he was me. talking about I Love McConan, who was dropped from OVO. One thing about it, when it comes to music, I'd just be listening to it. But y'all. Yeah. Oh, back some oh, years ago. Or The Weeknd, from past misunderstandings that they've had, but they've since patched up. But nope, he's more than likely sending shots at Future. Future and Drake were really close to where they bought OVO and FBG chains, showing an alliance between their two crews. And Future can be seen wearing OVO merch on multiple occasions. Then Drake goes on to say, but if I send a verse to their ass, then they'll take it. Shoot a video, arm around me like we aces, or Ooh. pop out at my shows, jump around with me on stages. Okay. These that's all like a, that apply like this. to Future. Because unlike Metro Boomin, who refused to use Drake's verse on Trance from Why? his 2022 Heroes and Villains album, Future has two Drake features, Wait For You and I'm On One, on I'm his saying. 2021 album, I Never Liked You. Drake goes on to give even deeper explanation on more M, saying, let me keep it basic. Niggas ain't got love for the boys, so they fake it. Crack a couple jokes to some bitches on some snake shit. Ooh. And it seems like Future got hip to these disses because it's almost like he responds to them directly on We Don't Trust You, saying, sneak dissing, I don't understand, dawg. Pillow talking, acting like a fed, dawg. I don't need another fake friend, dawg. Can't be by the hoe, cause we sharing, dawg. In your feelings, why you playing, dawg? Okay. And the in your feelings was the giveaway for me because Maybe we know Drake had a huge album. song on his Scorpion album, Key Key. Do you love me? And that song was called In Your Feelings. So we know Metro Boomin had issues with Drake with some wow. passive aggressive moves on Twitter, like liking comments, speaking negatively about Drake and Metro tweeting and deleting his frustration with no, her wow. loss winning awards oh, instead okay. of his heroes and villains. Bet, yeah, her loss still keeps me over H and B proof at the horse. Oh, it's not like he mad because he ain't Which Drake responded to on live stream. To the rest of you. The non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters. You guys Ooh. make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Look that in my eyes. You guys want to do something? That's what I thought. Th no. So now we know Metro's beef with Drake uh, see, wasn't really original, known. but more so inherited from Future, who he's very close with. Metro is also very close with 21 Savage who he helped get into the rap game, and Savage and Metro just dropped an album together in 2020, and Metro's production can be heard on Savage's 2024 album. So this has to be awkward for Savage, who has not said anything publicly about this beef or picked a side. Unlike Kendrick Lamar, who has been an ongoing size. rival of Drake, which some fans have been roasting Future and Metro for recruiting Kendrick to diss Drake directly on their album, and they have not dissed Drake directly yet themselves. So Travis Scott seems to have joined forces with Future and Metro also. When he was seen at Rolling Loud begging Future and Metro to play like that, the song from their album, where Kendrick goes at Drake and J. Cole. Now what's Travis's beef with Drake I don't know. No, matter of fact, what's his beef with J. Cole? Why do people even have beef with They've J. Cole? They've done a ton of songs together, including Meltdown from Travis's 2023 Utopia album. The only thing I can think of is the constant on and off again rumors of Drake sleeping with Kylie Jenner, the mother of Travis's two children. So? Playboy Cardi is also another one that has joined forces with Future and Metro going against Drake. What? As he can be seen in multiple pictures and videos with Future and Metro for the release of the We Don't Trust You album. Metro even posted a picture of himself, Future, Cardi, and Southside of 808 Mafia with the caption saying, going against the guys you gonna lose. I mean, that speaks for itself, Why right? So this Future on? versus Drake beef has really turned into a civil war of a lot of big dogs signing with Future to go against Drake. Don't and understand. Drake being Drake, I don't see him taking this lightly. And I can imagine we'll be getting a response from him soon. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. As always, like lost. the video and subscribe to the channel. Not gonna lie, at first it says not about a girl. So it's about Drake dropping the album with 21? Are you that petty? It's, it's, it's way deeper than that. Like, you're gonna bring somebody who dissed me.
it's way deeper than that. It can't be about our album. It can't be because y'all could have still dropped your album. Just because y'all just because him and Twenty One dropped this album what last year or whatever. That don't mean the fans ain't still gonna listen to Future and Drake. Are you crazy? That's Future and Drake. It might do way better than the one with him, 21. It's Future and Drake. Future, Drake. It's Future, Drake. Like, what? Like, that's just mad petty. And it's very much uncalled for. Like, what? Like, I ain't gonna lie. This beef don't even make sense to me. Like, I'm, I'm confused. This ain't, no real, this ain't no real beef to me. Especially because ain't nobody saying no names. Yeah, he said something about the big three. But y'all call Drake the big three? I'm so confused. I'm not even gonna lie. Because that part got me confused. Do they call Drake the big three? Because I know they call, like, the big three is, like, Wayne, Nikki, Drake. So laughing my butt off. If, if you're and talking about them, then, I mean, you got to be this in Nikki and, uh, what's it called, like, Wayne or something? This is allegedly oh, her. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm, I'm just lost. Maybe I do need to listen to the album. I was going to listen to it. I was going to react to it, actually. But I think I'm going to just listen to it. But if you guys like this reaction, you're to do like, comment, subscribe, we subscribe, turn that post notification bell on so you know when I've been a new video and I'll see you guys in my next video.